beauties welcome back to my channel I hope you all are gearing up for the holidays and you know getting ready for some fabulous holiday parties and some kissing under the mistletoe and everything like that so with that being said welcome back to our channel and this is the first tutorial in a very long time this is for holiday 2013 um this is a look I created on my friend Martine who was happy enough to be my model As you can see she's giving face right now um, it is a golden smoky look with a neutral lip. It is very simple and easy to do. So let's get started. Martine has dry skin. And so we started off with clean, well moisturized skin. I am now putting on some Smashbox hydrating primer on Martine's skin. And we're going to go right into um, doing some Salmon concealer right underneath the eyes just to brighten up and correct. And then we move on to brows because I like to do brows first. Oh, but I am going to put a little bit of painterly on her eyelids so that it's going to be like all my bases are down. And while doing brows... I love my Anastasia Pro palette, so I took the darkest brown in the palette and I just started to fill in Martine's brows, you know, where I see like a couple of um, spaces or any place that needs to be like evened out with the other brow. So that is that. And always when you're filling in brows, be sure to have a spoolie um handy that way you can brush through all the hairs and just, it just gives a very more clean polished look when you're brushing through the hairs with a spoolie like so so once the brows are all filled in with my Anastasia brow powder I just like to go underneath with a clean angled brush and with a concealer that is one to two shades lighter than the client's skin tone and while I'm doing this, I'm just sharpening up that edge and I am blending out the bottom. I usually keep a little bit of um, mineralized skin finish and I just blend that out with a big fluffy brush. And that's my highlight for the brows as well. So now we're going to go right into our crease color. A good transition color is always a must have. For this look, I use um, Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette. Uh, it's a great color of choice. It looks good on everybody's skin tone. And I am just blending it into her crease with a large fluffy brush. And from here, it's just like blend, 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 and blend some more. Because a well blended look is always a fabulous look. Then I take a small shader brush and I start packing on some off black color. And I'm packing it onto the outer V and I'm blending it in with that same big fluffy brush that we put naked in the crease. I am just blending that inwards and that's going to give me that smoky effect. Now I didn't want to go for like a very, very deep, deep, deep black because um, I wanted the look to stay soft. But I am just packing on that color until I get the hit. Uh, something must be really funny. But I'm just packing on that color until I get the intensity that I am looking on, looking for. And, of course, blending it inwards. And now here comes the fun part. This has got to be one of my favorite pigments. I picked it up at the makeup show earlier this year. It's from Magnolia Makeup, and the color is Sugar Cane. It is a gorgeous, 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 gold, glittery pigment. Um, I just had to get a close-up of it. I actually didn't use like a glitter glue or anything like that. I just sprayed um, my MAC 239 brush with some Fix Plus and on the lid it goes. So, Martine's eyes are all done. I used some gel liner. Um, I used the uh, MAC Black Track, which is their gel liner. And now I'm taking an Avon Cole pencil in black and I am just lining her waterline down the bottom. And I'm going to smudge that out with a clean flat shader brush and some black eyeshadow. And now it's time for foundation. This is one of my favorite brushes. It's from Belenium Tools. It's their dual fiber brush. I'll have um, all the information listed down the bottom. I am putting on a Mega Forever HD foundation on my scene. It just looks so flawless. She is a number 173 and it just goes on so beautifully onto her skin. And again, um, I am just using this Millennium Tools Dual Fiber Brush, and I'm using Circular Motions just to buff it into the skin really well. I really actually didn't use that much foundation, probably just like one and a half pumps. 
And now I am going to set the foundation with some mineralized skin finish in uh, medium deep. And I'm using another favorite brush of mine. It is like this huge brush that I got from Crown Brush. And it's on to concealers. So underneath the eye, I am just highlighting. I'm using the Mehron Celebrate Cream uh, HD Foundation. But here I'm using it as a concealer. And I also use this to contour uh, Martine's skin. So I went two shades up for a highlighter. And I went two shades down for a contour. And just blended everything in. Um, my camera shut off. Sorry about that. So... Her contour is all in, all the creams are nice and blended, it looks flawless. I'm using my Mojave palette and my MAC 109 brush just to set where we did all our contours um, on the jawline, on the cheekbones, around the hairline, up top. And I am also going to take another favorite brush of mine, the MAC 217 brush, and I am going to go in and contour Martine's nose. So it is like, it's like the perfect size. I actually need to buy extra brushes just for contouring. And once I'm done setting everything with the contour, I am going to go into a new favorite product of mine, which is the Pressed Banana Powder. And I am going to set Martine's highlight. Now this pressed powder, I absolutely love it. If you are a Ben Nye fan of banana powder, you are going to absolutely love this. It's everything that the loose banana powder is without all the mess. So it's definitely a, um, a winner in my book. So then we move on to cheeks. I chose a very, very lovely brush that, blush that I absolutely love. It is NARS Taj Mahal. And I'm going to actually skip highlighter for this look. So that's why I chose more of a shimmering blush. So that orange looks absolutely gorgeous on women of color. And then we're going to move on to lips. That is the OCC Lip Tar. I am so upset that the name actually rubbed off of it. I use it so much. It's such a universally amazing shade on so many people. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out the color and put it in the description bar or on my blog. But I am actually not sure. Um, so from here I'm going to take a Remo Lip Pencil. And this is kind of like a reddish brown color it fits martine's complexion so beautifully and i'm just going to fill in her lips a little bit and then blend it out with a lip brush just to give it like a outline but still make it look nice and blended and natural Um, after blending everything, the last step that I'm going to do is put on some gloss for Martine. And I am using Max Mad Cap Gloss. So this is the full and entire look. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to rate and subscribe. And as always, be beautiful.